Live Pure is a supplement whose style of marketing looks awfully familiar. Why you ask? Well, because it seems to be following a similar path to other marketing campaigns in the past that have promoted false medical claims to peddle useless supplements. I'm talking about Alpaline and Exapure. Now, Live Pure claims to have unlocked the secret behind that pesky belly fat that many people struggle with. According to them, the root cause lies in, quote, compromised liver function. They argue that in order to shed the unwanted fat, you must optimize your liver function. And to support this interesting claim, they reference three articles. But what do these articles actually say? And do they really back their claim? Let's begin with the first article. The article is about metabolic flexibility, which essentially refers to our body's ability to adapt and respond to our body's energy needs. Whenever we use energy, our body has to decide where it gets that energy from, whether it be from the foods we eat or from our own fat stores. The more efficiently we can do this, the more metabolically flexible we are. So what does this have to do with compromised liver function causing belly fat? Nothing. Literally nothing. This article explores how poor metabolic flexibility, particularly in the context of reduced insulin production or insulin resistance, can increase the risk of metabolic diseases such as diabetes or obesity. It has nothing to do with poor liver function and how it can affect belly fat at all. Moving on to the second article. Again, the topic revolves around metabolic flexibility and its potential role in managing nutrient sensing, how it's absorbed, transported, stored as fat, and used as energy. It highlights the importance of maintaining optimal metabolic flexibility to ward off various diseases. And like in the first article, it says that poor metabolic flexibility can result in diabetes or other metabolic disease. It doesn't say anything about compromised liver function as the cause of belly fat. Lastly, we arrive at the third article. It too is centered around the concept of metabolic flexibility. This term essentially encompasses the changes and responses our bodies undergo in response to things like exercise or fasting. While disturbances in metabolic flexibility can indeed increase the risk of metabolic diseases like diabetes and obesity, it has more to do with the response to hormones like insulin and the ability of the body to use our fat stores rather than issues with the liver. It certainly doesn't support the idea that compromised liver function can cause belly fat. Now, let's address the burning question that's probably on your mind. Does compromised liver function really lead to increased belly fat? The short answer is no, not quite like that. When the liver has problems and its function becomes compromised, it's more likely to result in the accumulation of fat within the liver itself rather than around the belly. This condition is known as fatty liver disease and it comes with its own set of problems and health implications. Live Pure seems to be capitalizing on the popular detoxification myth, which suggests that, quote, detoxing your liver can miraculously improve your overall health. In this case, they're falsely claiming that it's the root cause of belly fat. While the liver plays a vital role in detoxifying our bodies, the idea of specifically detoxing the liver as a standalone health practice lacks scientific evidence and is a concept that sounds interesting but is full of misunderstandings. I'll probably go into more depth about the myth behind detoxing and weight loss in another video, so subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed. Now let's talk about the Live Pure supplement itself. Here are the doses per capsule. The recommended dosing is two per day. There are apparently a lot of copycat Live Pure products, all of which have different ingredients. So I'm just talking about the original version of Live Pure. Most of the ingredients are hidden behind a proprietary blend, so we don't have exact doses. We're gonna analyze each ingredient to see whether they contain a sufficient dose, whether it contains the active compounds to work, and how effective they may be for weight loss. Then at the very end, I'll look into cheaper alternatives and give the supplement an overall rating. Silly Marn is derived from the dried seeds and fruits of the milk thistle plant. When Live Pure lists Silly Marn as an ingredient in their supplement, it's actually a bit misleading. You see, pure Silly Marn supplements don't actually exist. What you'll find instead is a milk thistle extract, which may contain some silly marin, albeit not in its pure form. Milk thistle and many of the compounds it contains, including silly marin, do have some evidence suggesting potential benefits for liver function. They may even aid in blood sugar control for individuals with diabetes. 
However, there's no evidence to suggest that milk thistle or silly marn can assist with weight loss. Nevertheless, it's worth mentioning that some individuals have turned to milk thistle supplements to help manage liver issues. But here's the thing, when it comes to Live Pure, we can't say for certain whether they are using a standardized extract of milk thistle or if the amount of silly marn in their product is even sufficient to provide any meaningful benefits. Next is betaine, which can refer to two different supplements, betaine hydrochloride and betaine anhydrous. Here's where things get a bit murky. Due to Live Pure's use of a proprietary blend, we're left in the dark about which specific form of betaine they are using. When it comes to betaine anhydrous, there's some weak evidence suggesting potential benefits for fatty liver disease. However, here's the catch. The doses required to see any potential benefit are around 10 grams per day. There's no way Live Pure contains anywhere near that amount of betaine anhydrous to have any meaningful impact on liver function. Regardless of the type of betaine, neither of these forms have been shown to be effective for weight loss. I've talked about berberine multiple times before and I'll link the video down below in the description, but there is some weak evidence it can help diabetics with a small amount of weight loss. There's also a small amount of evidence it can help with hepatitis or other liver issues. However, again, the doses required is 1-3 to three grams per day. Live Pure doesn't contain nearly enough to help with those conditions. Molybdenum is a mineral that our liver uses in its metabolic processes. It falls into the category of essential trace minerals, meaning our bodies require only minuscule amounts to function properly. So theoretically speaking, deficiencies in this mineral could potentially hamper liver function. However, molybdenum deficiencies are exceedingly rare, and the likelihood of someone actually needing supplementation is highly unlikely. While it does play a role in our metabolic processes, there's no evidence to suggest that supplementing it will enhance liver function or aid in weight loss. In fact, studies have shown that individuals with liver diseases like hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, alcoholic liver disease, and liver cancer tend to have higher levels of molybdenum in their bloodstream. So if you're dealing with liver issues, supplementing with more molybdenum would probably be the last thing you'd want to consider. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant and our liver produces it as the primary compound to assist in the removal of waste products from our bodies. It's essentially what the liver uses to detox our body. Many sources out there suggest that taking glutathione can be beneficial for our health. However, when it comes to oral supplementation, the evidence suggests that it doesn't seem to have much effect on the human body. Why is that? The problem lies in the fact that glutathione taken orally is mostly inactivated in our digestive system and fails to reach our bloodstream. Numerous studies have reported this finding, indicating that oral glutathione supplementation is unlikely to have any significant antioxidant effects or provide much benefits to the body. It turns out that glutathione needs to be administered directly into the bloodstream through injection or IV therapy for it to have any chance of appearing in the blood at all. So while glutathione has theoretical benefits and plays a vital role in our body's detoxification process, relying on glutathione supplementation is highly unlikely to provide those desired benefits. Camellia sinensis is the general name for basic tea. Live Pure fails to specify the specific type of tea it contains. Is it green tea? Black tea? We're not sure. There are many potential beneficial compounds found in tea. Some studies suggest that certain ones like caffeine or chlorogenic acid may have modest effects on weight loss. However, the doses required to see these effects typically range from 250 to 1000 milligrams, specifically from standardized green tea or green coffee extracts. Considering Live Pure's lack of specificity regarding to the type of tea used, it leads me to believe that it's merely ground up regular tea leaves added into the mix. So while drinking tea has been linked to various health benefits, it's highly unlikely that the minuscule amount of ground up tea leaves along with the tiny amounts of chlorogenic acid found in this supplement will have any substantial impact, let alone burn fat. Resveratrol is a compound found in red wine and grapes. It's best known for its antioxidant properties, which can be beneficial for our health. There's some weak evidence suggesting that resveratrol may have a modest effect on weight loss for certain individuals. It may help control blood sugar levels and slightly reduce appetite, leading to a few pounds of weight loss over the course of a few months. 
However, resveratrol doesn't seem to have any significant impact on fat mass reduction like LivePure claims. So while it may help with some aspects of weight management, it's not going to reduce excess belly fat. Unfortunately, the useful doses typically range around 250 to 500 milligrams per day. It's highly unlikely LivePure is providing enough standardized resveratrol to come close to that. Genistein is one of the isoflavones found in soy and soy products. It belongs to a group of compounds known as phytoestrogens, which essentially means that it acts as a weak version of estrogen in the body. This can potentially be beneficial for women who experience hormone-related issues, such as those going through menopause. However, listing genistein as an isolated ingredient, much like silymarin, can be somewhat misleading. You see, genistein is rarely found in isolation in a supplement. Supplements that contain genistein are usually derived from soy extracts, which may or may not be standardized to contain certain amounts of genistein. However, LivePure claims to be soy free. If that's the case, the most likely alternative source of genistein in their product would be red clover. Therefore, at most, LivePure might contain a small amount of red clover extract, which could potentially contain a tiny amount of genistein. Phytoestrogens like genistein have shown some moderate benefits for menopause-related weight issues like water retention. However, when it comes to regular weight loss, the reality is that they're not likely to be of much help. I've gone into more depth about menopause and phytoestrogens in another product called Estrovin, and I'll link that review down below in the description. Choline is an essential nutrient that's found in meats, eggs, and dairy products. It's used as a building block for our nervous system, much like protein is a building block for muscle. Now here's the thing about choline. It's a nutrient that, much like protein, needs to be consumed in sufficient amounts for our body to effectively utilize it. If you're already including meats, eggs, or dairy products in your diet, chances are you're already getting a good amount of choline. The question then arises, does taking minuscule amounts of choline in supplement form provide any additional benefits? The answer is likely no. When we're already meeting our body's choline needs through our diet, supplementing with tiny amounts of choline is unlikely to provide any extra benefits. Some of the ingredients in LivePure have the potential to cause side effects or interact with certain medications. However, the exact doses of each ingredient are not disclosed, making it difficult to determine how likely these effects may occur. Take berberine for example. It can lower blood sugar, which may pose a risk for individuals already taking blood sugar medication. Berberine can also interfere with the liver metabolism of certain drugs like cyclosporin. However, I seriously doubt there's even enough berberine in LivePure to cause these problems. So I'm really not sure how safe it is to take, although if I had to guess, the doses of each of these are probably too low to cause many issues for most people. Overall, LivePure is not going to be useful for weight loss at all, and especially not with fat burning. They lack the ingredients and doses that may be beneficial for weight loss, and their claims of quote, liver purification are questionable at best. Consequently, I wouldn't expect LivePure to be particularly helpful for individuals hoping to improve their liver function either. If I were to closely replicate what LivePure is attempting to achieve, which is a combination of liver support and support for fat metabolism, I would consider a combination of a milk thistle extract, berberine, and green tea extract. Currently, LivePure is being sold for approximately $70 per month. A higher quality milk thistle extract can be purchased for around $3 to $5 per month. Berberine is available for approximately $7 to $10 a month. A better quality green tea extract can be found for about $4 to $8 a month. By opting for these higher quality generics individually, you can essentially replicate what LivePure is trying to do, but even better, for around $14 to $23 a month. Rating LivePure by effectiveness for weight loss, I'm giving it an F. It makes a false claim about compromised liver function being the main contributor to belly fat and doesn't even deliver properly on the liver support. Rating it by cost, I'm giving it a D. You can replicate what LivePur is trying to provide you with better quality generics for many times less. Rating it for safety, I'm giving it a C. Some ingredients like berberine may interfere with medications, and the lack of dosing information makes it difficult to determine accurate safety info. Overall rating, I'm giving an F. I would recommend you stay away from it. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with some you know can use the info. Thank you.